Picture this, the economy is booming. You're receiving a wage increase every year. You live in a nice family home and unemployment is at its lowest rate in the last 50 years. But you're still miserable. Well, that's the case for so many people. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. This is Clayton. He's a truck driver from North Carolina. He earns around 20% more this year than he did three years ago. And this is Christine, a nurse from Ohio, who has won steady pay rises year on year, built retirement savings, and even owns her own home. And finally, Alfredo, who opened a restaurant outside Nashville when the pandemic hit, now owns a second one and employs close to 50 people. Inflation in the US has stabilized, Unemployment has been below 4% for 24 straight months. But if you ask Christine, Clayton or Alfredo about their own personal thoughts, they are very worried. And that's because they're worried about losing their job tomorrow. They're worried about safety and they're worried about continuous government instability. Recent polls suggest that Americans believe taking reasonable economic steps, such as getting a college degree no longer guarantees a job, that the continuous wars abroad have made America feel more dangerous, and an uninspiring government is taking the country in the wrong direction. And this whole negative outlook amongst the population has confused economists because they predicted a recession post COVID, but in actual fact, the economy has grown over 3% in the last couple of years. But why are Americans feeling this way? Well, they believe that the low unemployment and stabilized inflation figures are simply smoke and mirrors, as the government are putting more and more focus onto global conflicts. Many are still hurt by the number of years and trillions of dollars wasted in Afghanistan, and are now questioning the spending in Ukraine. And these conflicts create an opportunity cost, continue to fund these conflicts and stabilize inflation or look for peace deals and lower inflation. Right now, the government are choosing to fund these conflicts. Research conducted at the Federal Bank of Dallas showed that low-income households disproportionately bear the brunt of inflation. That's because people who earn less spend a higher percentage of their earnings on food, gas, and rent all of which have increased significantly since the pandemic. However, it's not just low income earners who have been hit hard. Although unemployment overall may be low, certain industries such as technology and media have seen huge layoffs. This is James, a 49 year old married father of two. He relocated his family from Atlanta to Plano, Texas in pursuit of a managerial position at an online fitness company following his layoff during the pandemic from a hotel company. James has exhausted nearly $450,000 in retirement and emergency funds to cover relocation, medical bills, and college expenses for his children. His wife's 72,000 annual salary as an operations manager is currently sustaining the family. And this is a story for many mid to high earners in America. And for the younger generation, climbing onto the property ladder is extremely difficult or completely impossible. Interest rates are now at seven to 10% and that's making mortgage payments unaffordable. Many young people in the US believe that the American dream is simply a dream. What are your thoughts of the current economic situation? Are you happy or worried about the current cost of living? Not just in the United States, but also wherever you live. Let me know in the comments. And as always, please like and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow. Thank you.